Hello, this is Pamela. Welcome to my channel. Grab you a cup of coffee, sit back and relax, and enjoy some good old yarny talk. Hello, this is Pamela, and you're on Pamela's Adoring Crochet. Welcome to my channel. Um, if you're new to my channel, my channel is mostly all about crochet, but I do like to throw in a few other things here and there. Um, today is Whip Caddy Wednesday, my favorite video of the whole week. So it's where I get to show off the things that you guys are working on. All you gotta do is just send me an email or uh, post a picture in my Facebook group page. So um, I have a video clip and we can see what everyone's um, working on. So grab your cup of coffee, anything to drink, a little donut or whatever, and sit back and watch this uh, little slide to see uh, what others are working on and to help inspire you. Now here we have Linda's cart and I see that beautiful red, white, and blue uh, basket on the top up there with the blanket in it. That is so cool that you made that. Um, oh yeah, and I'll leave the link to that, um, how to make the blanket that's in that basket. And I love the doll clothes. Look at all the cool doll clothes. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, and then the crochet donut buddy book. I still need to get that. Um, let us know what you think of that in the Facebook group page. Okay, so here we have Dolores' cart. Dolores says that on the bottom tray, she has yarn and knots of love beanies that she will be sending out soon. And the middle has a cardigan making the sleeves and that the body part of it is done. And the top has her binder with patterns, planner, and two beanies and scarves for wings, an organization that Rose Likes Crochet donates to. Uh, matter of fact, I'll leave Rose Likes Crochet her uh, YouTube channel below, and you can see all the beautiful things that people send in to uh, donate for the Wings Charity. That's a very good. I have donated uh, doll clothes several times, and I just think it's a very cool um, charity to be involved in. Okay, here we have Roxana's cart, and she says, Hello, yarny friends. An update on my whip caddy. As usual, the top has all of her crochet knitting paraphernalia, and the middle has her finished Divine Crochet Angel by Sarah Zimmerman, and it is so cute. Uh, for allfreecrochet.com and an infant-sized chicken hat, which is adorable. And on the bottom left, uh, she just started a basic half double crochet beanie toddler size and on the right and almost finished knitting the knitted simple lace shawl pattern is on the label of red heart super saver ombre she said this is a christmas gift for her son's girlfriend and she says thanks everyone for checking out her caddy and have a wonderful day so now we have julie's whip cart and her basket in the floor which i love by the way she says that the top shelf still has the Christmas poncho and the diagonal net scarf. The middle shelf is a new basket, and she's in the process of making a video tutorial for it. Well, that's cool. Um, the bottom shelf has a new blanket, and it's just V-stitches with three strands together and a large hook, S-hook, she says she thinks. And finally, she still has the scrap yarn blanket that she did work on a few rows on it. And she has a video and she likes to show off that she calls Whip Wednesday, so you may want to go check that out. Now here we have Cheryl's. She says that the Whip cart has a plaid baby blanket, Daisy Farm Crafts. Oh, that is so pretty. And the bottom shelf is knitting, her trying to learn how. And FO is her first attempt at a basket, and I think you did a great job. Now here we have Jenna's cart. She says her Whip cart is a mess, but the top shelf, she has two mosaic crochet blankets and a cow that she's working on. The second shelf is another mosaic crochet blanket, a bralette for sale on her Etsy, and yarn to make some amigurumi for Crystal at Chronically Crochet. And the bottom is just some random stuff like some fabric for bags, a headband, and extra hooks and pins. She said, you can see all of my progress on my channel, Jenna's Stitches. Thank you so much for sharing that and let us, us know about your channel. I will leave her link below, guys. Now, here we have Diana's cart. She says that her whip cart, the top shelf, has completed Posy Top and Wonder Years Top. That sounds interesting. Um, and she has completed three octopus amigurumi, and um, they are adorable. I love the colors you picked for those and a poncho down at the bottom. And I love the colors on that as well. 
Now, here we have Evelyn's card, and I like what she said. She says, this is the neatest that her whip caddy has ever been, and that it's empty except for her bantam shawl made with Christmas Advent minis, and she put everything in project bags so that she could take it all to her sister's for a long overdue visit. Mmm, good old vanilla buttercream this morning. I have enough for one more pot. <laughs> and then I'm moving on to some other flavors. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started um, of what I'm working on. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, they definitely inspire me. Here's a picture of my cart. Now, this is what all I'm going to be showing you. Well, probably not everything out of it, but I'm going to try to show you as much as I can that's on my cart because I don't want the video to be too long. Before I forget, I wanted to let you guys know Christmas popcorn's out. <laughs> I got this at my local Dollar General down the road, and uh, I was so excited. The popcorn is out. So, you guys that uh, love the Christmas tin popcorn, it's out. It's ready. <laughs> ready for purchase. So, um, you know, and they come three flavors. Usually it's, I uh, think, white cheddar, caramel, and butter are the three flavors of popcorn. And, um, oh my gosh, I was so excited. I just had to grab it. Yeah, I did sell one of these last night, the little um, baby boy hat and the little matching jacket. And it is so cute. I just love it. And this yarn is so soft. It feels good. And I sewed another one. I sewed a little pink one. Now, you know I made one of these for my granddaughter uh, to be. She'll be here in January. Well, this one sewed as well. So, I'm going to make a few more of these. I'm telling you guys, I love this pattern. I'll leave the link below. It's from Yarn Inspirations. It's Burnett um, something um, <laughs> jack, crochet jacket and hat, something like that. But I'll leave the link below, and so you can just click on that. All right, guys, the next thing on my cart is, you know, that I'm working on the uh, corner to corner and Terry is graciously sending me three more of these. So this is it. I showed this the other day. So it would just be a quick, just to show you what's on my cart. Uh, this is two balls or skeins of that yarn. And so I'm going to do one more with that one I just showed you of increase. And then when I get the others in, then those will be a decrease. So I'm excited to show that. Hopefully, I will get this here before, let's see, today's Wednesday, before the um, weekend. And then that other yarn should be in and I'll start on this and that'll be a project done. But this is a fun one. I'm loving these colors. And this really is some soft yarn and you can feel the wool in it. It has 22% virgin wool. So the other thing on my whip cart is this ombre red heart. It's a corner to corner blanket and this is just for me right here. I'm just letting the colors flow. I've been working on this one for a while. I was in no hurry for it. Um, whenever um, we would take car rides to uh, my grandson's house, usually um, and especially if I was in the back seat and he would fall asleep back there or something, I would just crochet while we went places with him or, you know, whatever. <laughs> or even the, the drive there, the drive back, just stuff like that. It was just, you know, something to keep my hands busy and, and kind of make for myself. And uh, so this had stayed in the car. I never brought it into the home. It just stayed in the car. And it was just one of those projects that if I had time and I wanted to work on it, I did. So um, I figured that I would go ahead and just bring it back in the house and kind of start working on it a little bit here and there. Okay, um, there are two projects that I would like to start. I'm not sure if I will start them this weekend or if I will start them next week. But one of them is this Spin Drift Cardigan. I got this off of Wee Crochet. It was a free pattern. And I would like to make that. Spin Drift Cardigan. <laughs> So, anyway, I'm looking at that one. And this one, um, let me see who this is by. I've had this one for a little bit. Um, Cozy Nooks Design. I don't remember if this was a paid pattern or not. Guys, I really don't. I think, I'm thinking it was free. but And I'm not sure where the link would be. So, 
But anyway, it says, um, <laughs> always stay humble and kind. And it's just a little pillow. And I thought that I would make this up and put this in the chair in my yarn room. So um, I've already pulled out the yarn. I believe I have um, gold for this background and turquoise for the words. And the words um, may or may not be the dark turquoise. I may end up changing that. I'm not quite sure, 100% sure. But I'm 98% sure it's going to be the teal. <laughs> okay, so now let's uh, talk about this. This is the Annie's Moroccan towel. Let me get up so you can see it. This is what I've been working on. Um, this is what I got. The last part of it was this right here. And as you can see, it's got um, these beautiful Moroccan towels all the way around it. All I've got left is just another few rows of a border with, um, I believe it may be some of the dark blue, like maybe this blue right here, um, that's going to go around it. They sent me the last kit, and this right here will be done. Um, there it is right here. This is kit 10. It's this right here. So this right there is all I've got left, that row right there. See, I just, I've already done that, so it's just this right here. And it's going to be completed. So I'm so excited over this. Thank you, Annie's. Annie sent this to me uh, to make and show you guys and tell you my thoughts and everything. And I hope I have done that through the process of showing this off to you guys. I really do. Okay, guys, let's do our 365 days of prayer. Only love. Love each other with genuine affection and take delight in honoring each other. That's Romans 12, 10. Compassionate one, you set the example of pure love for us to follow. It is your very nature to interact with us in the warmth of affection. As we love each other with the same conscious kindness, we reflect your character. Lord, I want to be like you in your loving kindness. I struggle to love everyone in my life with true affection. I need your help. Fill me with your grace that empowers me as I choose to honor others, whether or not I feel like doing it. Your love constantly chooses honoring others over comfort. It is not my natural inclination, but I will practice choosing it until it becomes like second nature. When I fail to choose love, grace is accessible. There is a multitude of opportunity of failing and trying again. Help me to love like you do. How does love honor others in your life? Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, that's all that I have for this video. Um, hopefully that I will be able to come on tomorrow because um, I'd like to show um, what I'm working on today. <laughs> hopefully I'll get something done today or at least be able to update you guys. If I don't get to come on tomorrow because I didn't get anything, um, any progress on anything, I will come on Friday. And um, so one of the two days, I will come on and do another video for you guys and keep you updated of, you know, what I've got going. <laughs> all right, guys, that's all that I have for this video. Just remember to live life, have fun, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.